In this video, I am going to solve this question. There are two machines available for cutting corks intended for use in wine bottles. The first produces corks with diameters that are normally distributed with mean 3 cm and standard deviation 0.1 cm. The second machine produces corks with diameters that have a normal distribution with mean 3.4 cm and standard deviation 0.02 cm. Acceptable corks have diameters between 2.9 cm and 3.1 cm. Which machine is more likely to produce an acceptable cork? So first of all, let's define some random variables. So let's say that x is a random variable that denotes the diameter of a randomly selected cork made by the first machine. So this is how we are defining the random variable x and we are given in the question that x is normally distributed with mean 3 cm and standard deviation 0.1 cm. So we are given that mu is equal to 3 cm and sigma is equal to 0.1 cm. Similarly, let's define one more random variable for second machine. Let's say that y is a random variable that denotes the diameter of a randomly selected cork made by the second machine. So this is how we are defining y and we are given in the question that y is normally distributed with mean 3.4 cm and standard deviation 0.02 cm. So to differentiate the mean and standard deviation value, let's say that this is mu x and standard deviation of x and we are given that mu y is equal to 3.4 cm and standard deviation of y is equal to 0.02 cm. So this is what we are given in the question and we have to find which machine is more likely to produce an acceptable cork when acceptable corks have diameters between 2.9 cm and 3.1 cm. So basically the problem boils down to finding this. We have to find what is the probability that x lies between 2.9 and 3.1 and similarly we have to find the probability that y lies between 2.9 and 3.1 and after finding these two probabilities we will see that which probability is greater and that would give us the answer. So first of all let's find the probability that x is greater than 2.9 and less than 3.1. Now we know that x is normally distributed and we can transform this into standard normal. So this is equal to probability 2.9 minus mu x divided by sigma x less than x minus mu x divided by sigma x less than 3.1 minus mu x divided by sigma x. And we know that this is z. So this is equal to probability 2.9 minus 3 divided by 0 0.1. These values are given to us in the question. Less than z, less than 3.1 minus 3 divided by 0 0.1. And this is equal to the probability that z is greater than minus 1 and less than 1. We know that z is a continuous random variable so we can use this proposition. So according to this proposition the probability that a is less than x is less than b where x is any continuous random variable is equal to the probability that x is less than equal to b minus the probability that x is less than equal to a. So this is the proposition that we can use for continuous random variables. So using this proposition we can write that this is equal to probability that z is less than equal to 1 minus the probability that z is less than equal to minus 1. And we can find these probabilities by having a look at the standard normal table. So by looking at standard normal table we will find that this probability is 0 0.8413 and this probability is 0 0.1587. So that means the desired probability is 0 0.6826. So the probability that x is greater than 2.9 and 3.1 is 0 
In other words, the probability that the first machine will produce an acceptable cork is 0.6826. Now let's find the probability that y is greater than 2.9 and less than 3.1. Before we proceed further, there is a correction that I have to make. This value is not 3.4 centimeters. It is 3.04 centimeters. So the mean of random variable y is not 3.4, it is 3.04 centimeter. So we are given that y is normally distributed with mean 3.04 centimeter and standard deviation 0.02 centimeter. And now we have to find this probability. As y is a normally distributed random variable, we can convert it into standard normal and we can write the probability like this. So we can say that this probability is equal to 2.9 minus mu y divided by sigma y less than y minus mu y divided by sigma y less than 3.1 minus mu y divided by sigma y. And we are given the values of mu y and sigma y. So this is equal to probability 2.9 minus 3.04 divided by 0 0.02 less than z less than 3.1 minus 3.04 divided by 0 0.02. Solving this we get minus 7 less than z less than 3 and we know that z is a continuous random variable so we can use the same proposition once again. So this probability is equal to the probability that z is less than equal to 3 minus the probability that z is less than or equal to minus 7. Well, we can find these probabilities from the standard normal table. So from the standard normal table, we get that this probability is 0 0.9987 and this probability is 0. So that means the desired probability is 0 0.9987. So this means the probability that machine 2 will produce an acceptable cork is 0 0.9987. As this probability is greater than the previous probability, so this means that this machine is more likely to produce an acceptable cork. So this is all for this question.